While Dunsborough attracts huge numbers of fishing tourists each year, Augusta on the other end of the Cape sees much less fishing pressure and has some awesome bottom fishing. In fact, you only have to travel a short distance offshore and you're into some of the best of it. Got a little bit of rock and roll out here today and some clouds, but that's good for the fishing. That's Cape Lewin and it's some of the best bottom fishing in Western Australia. Today I'm with the Doc, Doc Williams, and he's the local guru when it comes to bottom fishing. We've also got the Southwest man, Dale Pilling here. There's going to be some bottom fish, so we're going to get right into it and show you how you can do it too. I reckon that the key to a successful day's bottom fishing is using fresh bait. My favourites by far are the small king wrasse that live around the inshore rocks. If you remember to keep a small rod on board, then you can stop on the way to the reef and pick up plenty of fresh bait. This will always work better than packet muleys and it's a lot more fun. Now this is a chance for me to try out my famous bottom jig rig. I've got the fire line of course for bottom fishing with a swivel, tied 80 pound leader onto it and a dropper loop with a dropper hook. But here's the secret, no sinker but a lead head jig. That is my sinker, but it's got a hook in it. And on the bottom, fish flesh. Now it's that combination of the jig and the fresh fish flesh. And you saw us catching those wrasse, that's what's going to work right here. Rather than use GPS, the doc just lined up a few trees on the hills and put us right on top of his best spot. Who's actually on there for a minute? Yes. Here we are, first drop, fish. And uh, it's got a bit of weight too. The way it head shook down the bottom and now it's coming up fairly gently, I would say it may be a small dewfish. So I'm going to slow it down. It's still head shaking. And I'm dragging it up. I reckon it's got a big mouth. I can feel it sucking that water through. So if you've got a fish that you don't think is legal size, if you rip them to the surface quickly, what you're going to do is kill them. You won't be able to release them. So I'm going to take my time and just bring it up gently. And that colour looks very much like a, like a, yes, look at that. It's a break sea. Now look at this. I took my time. I'm going to release this fish because we're not really after these break sea cod. Oh, oh, harlequin fish. Nice one. Now let's have a look at him. I'll just pop this, uh, pop this break sea back. Well, have a look at that. What a fantastic fish these are. Harlequin fish. And look, he's grabbed the white jig too. Big buggy eyes. What beautiful colours. Almost like the coral trout of the southwest. And uh, that hook will come straight out when I get in there. I'll give you a look at him. No, we're going to need some pliers. Fantastic fish. I'm not going to put my fingers in his mouth. Oh! Sorry about that, John. Shouldn't have held him over the water, should I? Oh well. Now, even though I've got a white lead head jig on the bottom, in the northwest I'd be giving it a bit of this because the fish up there are hunters and they like a bit of action in the water. Down south, it's colder water and the fish basically sit in caves around rocks and they just wait for something to waft past their face. So I don't jig it. I just let it drag through the rubble. That's the go. There's a lot of weed about. It's good country for fish. And I just let it drag with the drift of the boat. Yes. Oh yes, this is a good fish. Bit of head shaking going on. This feels very queen snappery. But it could be a dew fish in this sort of water. I was just setting my drag. And here we go, we've got a bit of colour. Oh, it's a good colour too. Have a look at this. It's a pink snapper. No, it's not. It's a nana guy. <laughs> Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Right in the mouth. That's the way to pick him up. That's the biggest nanny guy I've ever seen, let alone caught. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now, look at that. The size of the mouth on him. Nanny guy, they call them red snapper as well, and you know they are just the best eating fish. Some people just live on these things. We're going to pop him back in. Watch oh, him go back. Gotcha. Yes, I reckon. 
reckon this could be a nanny guy. Same sort of head shake. Oh, I tell you what, these are moto reels. They are just perfect for the job. Big handle, good drag. Oh, yes, nice. Nice fight. And here we go. What is this one? Nanny guy. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I reckon that's bigger. And it's got the white jig. Have a look, yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, ordinary fishing spot. 15 metres of water. You've got to be happy with that. Fantastic. Have a look at this. Ooh. Watch your thumb, watch your thumb man. Yeah, he's, he's a biter. He's a biter, isn't he? He's a biter. It's, it's rough, but it's not sharp inside there. No, but you've got to be careful of those gills, mate, because yeah. they're the real danger on them. Hey, well, I'll show everyone in a second. The old fingers are getting a rough up. Real bony mouth. Come on, Hook, come out. Our old Steve's going to be bleeding. He already is. Oh, <laughs> he's taking about 15. Look at this. Look at the skin being roughed up there. Unbelievable. That's what he's done. So I reckon it's a pair of pliers for you. And we'll pop him back. Fantastic nanny guy. 